Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, July 4th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is My Revolution Nurtures My Seeds. And today we are in the new moon in Cancer. It is also Independence Day for the state, so happy Independence Day if you live here. And I think that there's a level of Independence Day for us all, states or not, with this energy. We have this new moon happening at 4 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. And this new moon, while it happens at 12 degrees, which is a degree of openness and freedom, we then have the day shift very soon after. In fact, the moon shifts to 13 degrees 11 minutes after the new moon. Um, we have the 13 degree day. 13 degrees is Uranus energy. Revolution, evolution. It's the energy of ultimate liberation. And so Uranus days, I want to remind you, are not always traditionally the easiest days. A lot of times they're the days where we are triggered. And these days happen so that we can be triggered, so we can know the places within us that we still have to work on, where we still aren't liberated, where we still aren't going with the flow, moving with the flow energy. So pay attention to what triggers you today and see how can you liberate yourself through this energy. So let's start with this new moon. This new moon happening at 12 degrees. And I'm going to reread the Sabian symbol. I know I read it yesterday. I'm going to read it again because I think it's a beautiful reminder. Sabian symbol for Cancer 12 degrees is a Chinese woman nursing a baby whose aura reveals him to be the reincarnation of the great teacher. And how I see this energy is that we need to nurture the light within us, the divine within us. We all have an element of light, of the divine, of God, of the Buddhas, of Jesus, of our ascended masters and teachers. We all carry that energy within us. And as part of our revolution, we've got to nurture those light, those enlightened parts of ourselves and bring them forward. This is also a call for you to nurture yourself. Cancer energy to me so speaks of the inner infant. We talk about the inner child with Leo, but cancer energy is the part within ourselves that has needs that need to be fulfilled, that needs to be nurtured, loved on, fed good foods, given sleep, um, given love and cuddling. So spend some time in self-care, loving on yourself, to allow your light forward. I think a lot of times the times when we don't find ourselves in the light, when we find ourselves triggered, is the times when we are stressed, when our needs are not being met. So it's up to you in this energy to meet your needs so that you can grow. Just the way you, when you would plant seeds in the garden, you would water them, you give them light, you give them nutrients, you give them good soil. We want to do the same thing for ourselves because as we plant intentions with this new mood, um, it's a good idea to nurture yourself as you are the you are the soil for these intentions to grow and bloom in. And I want to show you this card. The only upright card that I have today is the flowering card. And so this is exactly what our intentions are going to be doing. They are going to be blooming. They are going to be flowering. They are going to be helping us flower and bloom. But you've got to do the nurturing work. So. That being said, this new moon, Evolution Revolution Day, we've got a lot of crazy transits going on today. <clears throat> the moon is making many connections. The moon's connecting to Neptune, 11 degrees, bringing some compassion into the day, also maybe stimulating your dreams before we move into that new moon energy. We have the new moon at 4 a.m. Then we have the moon opposite Pluto, the moon sextiling Jupiter, the moon conjunct Venus, uh, moon trine Mars, and then moon square Uranus. So the moon is responsible for our emotions. And as the moon in Cancer really enhances our emotions, it's going to be going through these transits all through the day. And so you may be like, oh, I feel so good one minute. And the next minute you're like, oh my God, I'm so triggered. That's kind of the energy. Just recognize those ups and downs. All right, this is the moon doing its thing. It's showing me what's in me. All of this energy that comes forth from you is energy that's within you. So pay attention to it. Um, the moon connecting to Pluto and Uranus specifically is very liberating energy, but this energy can also cause eruptions. It can also cause some power struggles um, outside of yourself. So really recognize, okay, I'm having this power struggle. What am I really fighting for? 
what is it that I'm really fighting or really desiring? What's my motivation in this energy? And how can I line up with myself in this energy? And sometimes it may be about going and spending some time by yourself and recentering. And sometimes it may involve conversation. The thing about conversation is going to be really interesting today. We've got Venus in, not Venus, sorry, Mercury in Cancer. Venus is also in Cancer, but Mercury is in Cancer in conjunct Saturn. So Saturn is retrograde in Sagittarius, and it has us looking at our beliefs. This in conjunct, where we're not quite seeing eye to eye, is happening at 10 degrees of our worth. And I think a lot of times we will put our worth on anything, including our beliefs. I believe this. I'm voting for this person. I'm doing this. This is what I think. And if somebody doesn't agree with us or if they have another opinion and we don't see eye to eye, there can be eruptions. So this may be part of the thing. Recognize your worth is so much more than what you believe, what you think, what you say. And if you find yourself getting triggered by that, remind yourself of what your worth really is, where it really comes from, which is the light within you, which we are going to begin to bloom into on another level. We also have Mars conjunct Lilith. And so that Mars Lilith energy with Vesta feeding in and Uranus feeding in, um, the moon feeding in later in the day, that energy can also be somewhat explosive. The feminine within you is not willing to settle down. She wants to say what she needs to say. That being said, again, People are not, they don't have to believe what you have to say. What I think is best in this energy is keep coming from the heart. Remember the four agreements, you know, speak with intentionality, um, don't take things personally, do your best. Come from the heart with this energy. Um, I think one of the energies that really came through with this, with this new moon and um, with all these connections is one of my favorite Rumi versus Roar, Lion of the Heart, and Tear Me Open. And I think the other energy, which is another Rumi verse, is love says you cannot deny me. Try. So if you can keep coming back to this love energy throughout this transit, just keep coming back to it within yourself and keep expressing from that place, you're going to find your resonance outside of yourself. But it, it's definitely going to be kind of an interesting day. Listen to your body. Nurture your body. You know, have fun. Don't go overboard with the fun. And recognize that there are definitely going to be some triggers out there. And ultimately, it is all for your liberation. And can you see it from that place? Or are you going to let it, you know, test you, poke you? Um, I want to show you my cards that I have because I showed you the flowering card, which is what ultimately this is happening. But the cards I have in reverse with this are awareness, clinging to the path, success, and possibilities all in reverse. And what I'm getting is like the awareness is going to come, the possibility is going to come, the success is going to come. But we don't even know. We don't know what that is. All we have to recognize is that we've planted the seeds. We've set the intentions with love. We've held space to co-create our dreams and desires, and we're going to nurture them, and that's all we can do. Allow the mind games to go away <laughs> through today because your mind is never going to know enough about this process to be able to really help you through. So just set those intentions and let go. Let go of the mind games that may come along with it because at this time you can't be aware about how exactly this is going to shift how exactly your intentions are going to come to light how exactly they're going to come to flower but speaking of lion i'm actually going to read this i pulled the lion card for us today with this new moon i love this card and i love what this card says this card is a card of patience regality a complete master the lion is a master of the fire element and the living mascot, mascot of self-transformation. A lion personality dedicates their life to personal and spiritual growth. This dedication inspires some and intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected by all but known intimately by few. Some mistake the lion as hard to access or aloof, yet those with a keener eye know better. Lions are observant stealth, and precise in their word and action. They do not waste energy or resources. This car reminds us that self-mastery is available to all, no matter where our quest begins. And so this 
is the energy. Roar, lion of the heart, and tear me open. Tear me open so that I can bloom into these intentions. And I really believe, because it is my intention, to always be on this path of transformation and um, really honoring myself and my energy. And I believe if you resonate with me, that chances are that you are on a similar path. So thank you for being a lion with me. So that's it for today. Powerful new moon. Be easy on yourself as we move through all the transits through the day, all the ups and downs. I have today's the last day that I'm keeping up my sale. So six for the price of five. It's on the website. If you'd like to buy that, $150. It's $25 for reading each month. That's amazing price. Last day. And happy new moon. Happy Independence Day no matter where you live. And I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.